Hi, I'm Chad Schilling. We're here on South in South Dakota on Lake Oahe. Um, ice out. Ice out northern pike fishing. Um, the ice, as you can see behind me, is just going out. The backs of the bays have warmed up a little quicker and the runoff is towing these open a little sooner than the rest of the river. Um, like I said, it's early April and this time of year, every year, the shorelines start filling up with people. The bay we're in actually was froze up two days ago and today it just, or yesterday afternoon it opened up and here we are today trying to catch the first part of the the big pike moving back in to get ready for the annual spawn. Um, a lot of the little males have been being caught all week in other areas that are open. Um, they have caught a few of the bigger females, but our timing is about right. Just now starting to see, seems like the little males will make their way into these bays and inlets and the creeks first part of the spring, even before the ice goes off sometimes. And uh, the big females are not shortly behind, just a few days behind. And as of the last three, four days, the word's getting out that the big pike are moving in and we're here to hopefully get some, uh, some photos and some video of some big pike being caught in the next two days. Um, as the waters warm up, these big females, they've been laying right here for the last month, right on the mouths of these creeks and uh, streams. A lot of times I think they use the same bays every year. Uh, any inlet, any tributary, the, we have the Grand River and the Morro River right nearby too that a lot of pike go up. People are actually seeing the pike move up some of the creeks around the area, so it's that time of year. But they lay right here in preparation for the, the spawn. And as they move in, the, their feeding tendencies go down. They, they get a little more lethargic. Um, they're thinking about one thing, but if your bait lays there long enough and uh, we're using all dead baits, setting them right in front of them, and uh, if they lay there long enough, a lot of times these big females will open their mouth and eat. Um, fish in the 10 to 15 pound range are super common. The fish from 15 to 25 pounds are the ones we're targeting. And uh, every year it's been getting better again. We're back on the incline on the big pike being caught. And in the next few years, Lake Hawaii is going to be the place to be to contact a northern over 20 pounds. All right, here we go. We're going to set up another quick strike rig. Got our herring. What we do is we take and we open the herring up just a little bit, just get a little bit more space in there. And what we're doing is we're sticking a piece of styrofoam in there, just as it acts as a float. Keep our bait up off the bottom a little bit. When you open them up, you can get more, more stuff in there to keep them open, or keep them floating, keep them up off the bottom. Then we take our quick strike rig, and we drop it several times, and we... Uh, insert the bottom hook of the quick strike rig up through the head of the herring and we hook it right into the styrofoam and it keeps the styrofoam in the bait so you don't lose your styrofoam then you bury the back hook into the tail or just in the, anywhere behind the midsection of the herring and what that does is that styrofoam keeps the head floating up and that bait will actually sit there just like that a pike comes in, he flares his gills, and the first thing he gets is a mouthful of treble hook. Uh, the big one we caught earlier had both hooks stuck, one on each side of his mouth. I mean, it's a pretty sure set system. We don't miss very many. We have had some smaller fish jerk around on them, but when the big fish come in and bite them, they tend to be, they tend to be hooked. You don't have to worry too much about losing them. So we'll throw this bad boy out there and see if we can get another one. All we did is we tossed the line out, just changing depths. We, you're allowed two lines here, so I try to throw one long, one little shorter. A lot of times the baits, you just where you can't see them is where you'll catch the pikes. So we throw some real close, move them around as the day goes on, but if there's a pike in the area, they can smell that herring and they'll come eat it. Then we come down here, we pull a little bit of the slack out with it nice and dead calm like this, which is so rare here. We, uh, we can pretty much set it up any way we want. And then we just make a loop in the line and put our cork over the, over the loop. Pull a little bit of the slack out and just set it on the ground. What happens, fish takes off, uh, the line feeds out, and it just he can go forever until we get there. The race is on if the bobber leaves shore. And if the bobber leaves shore today, it wasn't the wind. We, uh, <laughs> we got the right, the right day to do this. It seems like the brighter, stiller, sunnier days are the days the pike are active, so we should have some fun.